Hey guys, Martin here, and today I've got an ultimate $1,000 Canadian, American, and UK gaming PC build. Let's get right into it with the CPUs. We've got a tie for everyone here. The Ryzen 7 2700X, everyone wins here. Uh, great CPU for productivity, gaming, and streaming. All around, best bang for your buck CPU in this price range. The UK has the cheapest out of all of them, and Canada is the most expensive. Stupid Canada. Anyways, for the motherboard, everyone's got a tie here. Everyone's got four slots, 64 gigs supported, DDDR4, no one's crying. And then for RAM, we got two winners, tie between the UK and the USA. I'd say slight advantage to the USA because it's uh, two, well, it's 32 gigs, two slot, uh, two six gig DIMMs, uh, DDR4 3200 instead of 30 or 3000 megahertz from G-Skill. So you're getting an all around better uh, bang for your buck there. 108 is a really good price for 32 gigs. And then Canada comes in at, you know, measly second with 16 gig DDDR4 3200, you know. So that means in the future you guys can upgrade. Uh, but AMD really utilizes two DIMMs of RAM and 3200 megahertz. That's like the sweet spot. So definitely try to get that second DIMM whenever you can. But Obviously, it's not gonna hurt you noticeably. You still have you still have 3,200 megahertz. You just don't have that second dim. But let's not cry now. Let's save some money and play some games. Okay, for the SSDs, we're looking at Ws for everyone. Everyone's gonna have one terabyte SSD or M.2 SSD. Um, I like the M.2 better, but that's the cheapest you can get in Canada. So I, that's I got went with it anyways. We got a W here in the GPUs for United States. That's surprising because usually it's the UK, but I think the UK has got a little problem. They cannot go higher than a 2070, which is weird. Honestly, I can't find the 2080 on PC part picker, but obviously you can find them elsewhere. So I have, and I will add them later. Um, USA still wins this one with the 2070 Super instead of a 2070 regular from the, the UK. Maybe there was a cheaper price elsewhere. I should look into that again. I'm sorry about that, but that's all PC part picker, so I'm gonna have to look into that more. But for this video, we'll go with this. And Canada, uh, EVGA GeForce RTX 2060. So it's still a good video card, better than the 1660 Ti I believe we had last time, or it was a Super, either one is basically the same thing anyways. Um, this is a great graphics card. You're getting Turing, you're getting good. It's, this is good for an NBEC. Um, when you're streaming games on OBS, you want to utilize this. It's good also for video rendering. You can use the, the CUDA cores in that, very solid in Adobe Premiere Pro, and they'll, they'll help you edit videos. Anyways, for the case, guys, I, these guys look great. They all have tempered glass. They all look pretty good, actually you can have a look at them obviously you can change them if you don't like it but uh the uk we didn't change it from last video the usa we have and canada we have and they look actually mint we spent a little bit of more a little bit of more money <laughs> into the cases here and next up for the power supplies again the uk wins here with a fully modular 80 plus gold power supply obviously that's that's subjective but i would say the fully modular part and the, pl the fact that it's gold is already f good enough you know in my opinion to warrant it a w <laughs> the usa and canada come in last i'd say like, obviously usa above because they have a 700 watt 80 plus bronze instead of a 600 watt 80 plus bronze so anyways guys leave a like subscribe more videos to come next month even more i'm doing gaming now and i got this stuff so let's get it done see you guys in the next one peace